okay so I'm back I'm sorry yes I'm back my child was crying I had to do that so yes I don't know if I made this a part two if this is a part two welcome to part two so I got these boots these are from Walmart they're the brand scoop these were I believe $29 I just needed a pair of nice brown boots I have not been able to wear it if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram then you know I have a pinky toe injury so I have not been able to wear these just yet but I picked them up because like I said I needed brown boots um, these are staple a staple for me um, so I just knew that even though I couldn't wear it now I still needed to pick some up these have like a little bit of a rounded toe box for that more casual look which is kind of what i wanted i got these stunning boots as you can see the toe box is more pointed um it has like it flares here but do you see how short these heels are yeah yeah that is exactly why I went with these like this style shoe comes in um, with a higher heel in many with many different brands but I prefer these because of the shorter heel I got these from Urban uh, Revival that was that whole transaction was a mess like a mess to say the least um, I bought these and another pair of shoes that I'm going to show you I literally had to purchase the shoes four times four times because it yeah it was just a mess um one of the times when i tried to get the refund um they didn't refund me for i don't know about six weeks and i had to contact to contact the company again to say hey like where's my refund in order to get my refund but yeah i got the shoes um and they are stunning like they're just stunning they're so comfortable I'm gonna pair these more with like tights um maybe like my more shorter skirts like I could just picture this with I have this green leather skirt um with some black tights and maybe even this black turtleneck sweater for like that oversized look in just like a black trench mm. yeah um, I just I love that image in my head um, but yeah I ended up picking these up the zipper on this one is silver which I'm perfectly fine with and this is more of like not more of like this is definitely faux leather so it's a US eight and a half and they're euro 39 um, but I can tell you right now these are quite comfortable I do feel like I should have sized I should have gone with a size nine so my usual size is between an eight and a half and nine um but I definitely should have gotten the nine so if you're like me you're an eight and a half nine I would suggest that you just get the size nine for like the perfect perfect fit which means like it fits but you have a little bit of room the next pair of shoes that I ended up grabbing were these boots right here um again nice short heel um and i got these mainly because i love that this that the back is black so it kind of goes flush with the boots but then you get that denim um look here and i was definitely thinking about this bag when i got these like do you see how perfect well not perfect but up and down which means like this up high and these down low they kind of like go in a sense kind of but yeah that's why I ended up grabbing these and I'm just into denim overall there was something denim I recently got oh I recently got this handbag which also goes with this it almost goes more with the Telfar handbag like the denim almost matches more I kid you not I have been wearing this bag non-stop like every day I wear it it's just so easy the denim on this is so soft um, it just like conforms to your hand and just how you hold it it's not too stiff 
it's not too loose like it doesn't feel flimsy I love the style like it has the um, tag in the back the straps are nice and comfortable they're they're the perfect length I just I love everything about this bag to be honest and like I said I feel like it goes perfectly with these boots that I recently picked up I got these in an eight and a half and I do feel like the eight and a half is the perfect size in these like I wouldn't suggest going to the nine if you're in between like me these are perfect I do want to point out that when I got these as well as these in the mail both from Urban Revival um there was a strong like I don't know like almost fishy just it just smelled really toxic um the smell was really really strong I had to leave them out for a few days before the smell went away like there's no smell now so if you do decide to get these just know that there's a weird smell um when you get it just leave it out away from everything else um for a couple days and then it yeah it smells better because I don't smell that smell anymore so yeah I ended up getting these as well the last thing that I got is in this box this item um this is from sephora yeah so i ended up getting the charosa 59 in sorry the bigger size as well as so i got the body mist if you follow me on tiktok then you know that I love the scent like I tried it cuz I bought a couple bigger favorite fragrances from the Sol de Janeiro site and they sent me a small body mist but I ended up getting the bigger version cuz it smells so good and I also got the body butter cuz I got the trial in this one and the scent this smells so divine this has let me see if I can read it uplifting notes of vanilla orchid sugared violet and sheer sandalwood and let me just tell you guys it like I could smell it through the bottle Ugh, you could smell the vanilla it has like this like a sweet floral it just smells so good like uh, this is just pure television, but I just feel like I'm running running around like a garden or something like that. Uh, it just smells so good. It smells so good. Like, I feel like I just, like, went away to somewhere else. And then something that I always do is I tend to get, like, little um, samples of stuff. And there's always a code for something on Sephora. So I ended up getting this skincare bag opens right up so this skincare um, bag came with the this banana eye cream I don't really know what it is for it says it has vitamin C so I'm sure it's for brightening or something like that well yeah it says brightens and hydrate under the eye oh this bag came with a lot there's like sunscreen there's the Kiehl's ultra cream there's the Tatcha dewy skin cream there's this honey potion plus hydrating mask there's the summer fridays um jet lag mask there's the kudali um i think that's how you pronounce it um instant firming serum and by the sizes you can tell they're definitely just a one-time use kind of thing the charlotte tilbury magic cream moisturizing another sol de janeiro body butter and don't sleep on these even though you see these and you're like oh these are just small little like this little thing is what got me hooked to the Charosa 59 body butter that I just bought um because I tried it and it was so good uh this is hyaluronic serum by Laneige I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it I have not heard of that brand unfortunately um what's this this is a concealer don't think it's for me but sure there's this Oh, this thing has a lot self tanning drops not for me um, and yeah 
those are all the things that were in this bag i'm probably not saying anything new here but see if you can always get a code so that you can get like little things like these and then you can just trial them do a skincare night um something like that and you, yeah it doesn't hurt it's free anyways and yeah those are all of the things that i recently picked up that i'm opening or like sharing with you guys right now i have definitely picked up a lot of things since then if you want to see or i'll probably do a collective haul probably for the month of january and december i'm not really sure yet i'm trying to figure out my times and how i want to do this because even though i'm filming now like the video that you're going to see will be an edited version so i it takes time for me to film then it takes time for me to edit i'm sure many of you already know that um so yeah that's why i haven't like fully fully returned or like just have to think about time because it these things are time consuming like any youtuber out there any content creator period all of the stuff is time consuming many people see it and they're like yeah i can do that yeah i can do that you definitely can it's just it can be time consuming but you know when i was more consistent with this it was easier because you got used to it you got into a routine i'm not in that routine yet so i just have to figure out the timing either way i hope you enjoyed every single thing that i showed if you have any questions feel free to ask me remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well i will see you all in my next video bye